I have been healed. Hold on there. This way leads into the... Ghosts have been rising up everywhere in the Empire, I've heard. So many have... It would take an... Bad. Real bad. Monks used to go in every few weeks to clean out the ones who had risen. But lately, it's become too much for them to handle. You look like... Leave the dead... I greet you, sir. I wonder if you might have some... I come from a very wealthy family. As such, I have a certain lifestyle to maintain. Parties, female... I have to have an income, don't I? My father looked at my considerable expenses and told me to get my own silver. Of course, I am a noble. The shame of manual labor or the stink of trade must not be allowed to touch me, or even waft its way close to me. Mm. Not at all. Very simply, you have it, I want it. I am behaving in a very rational, civilized manner by politely asking. I read all the greatest philosophers and consulted with wise men before reaching this decision. I assure you, the philosophical underpinnings are quite sound. Wisdom is only gained by experience, wine, women, and song, as it were. But a life of revel with no reflection still... One must ponder, one must daydream. Even if I could bear the shame of sullying my hands with work, when would I think? How could I grow wise? Well, it loses some of the subtlety when you put it that way, but yes. If you feel more gen- Your parentage is below average, and your ancestry is of questionable worth. You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. Your physique seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A noble could afford sloth. Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. <laughs> your beliefs are superficial, and your culture is substandard.
You are right to demand an explanation. Forgive my servant. I instructed him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. Your demand for justification of his arguments was admirable. You are exactly what we need. An outlander strolled into the city several days ago and now sits like a cormorant taking what he wants from the river of our hospitality. He balks at our attempts to calm him and answers requests for payment with strange coins of questionable value. He needs to go. He claims he crossed the Glass Sea, which would mean he's from the mysterious East. I've heard reports of minor trade with that region, but only on a small scale. Even if they buy the occasional bolt of silk, everyone knows there are only barbarians outside the Jade Empire, and his manner confirms it. He insults the Emperor. So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe, but that will not last. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for them. That's what's so infuriating. He doesn't respond to reason. He proposes challenges we don't understand, and then declares himself the winner. Several of our brightest have faced him, but as soon as they get the better of him, he sets off his strange firework and says they are beaten. Normally, the peasants like it when we intellectuals are maligned, but they tire of his presence too. Getting rid of this nuisance will endear you to many. I hope your ability matches your conviction. Several. He is in the scholar's garden, and no amount of opposition has moved him. Please. The busy streets are almost overwhelming. It is hard to keep focused on what we need to do. Yo! I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> I didn't expect you and your strange training to make it to the Imperial City. Hmm? You are proving to be a very interesting person. You okay? Of course I could tell that just What's by that? looking at you. You have a very yeah. strong presence. That's okay. Yeah. He doesn't have any right now? Okay. Okay. No, it's all good. It's fine. As the Heavenly Lily, I am above suspicion, but I am restrained by fawning servants. Silk Fox can go anywhere, and people are not shy about their reactions. There is a thrill, of course, and it allows me to find information useful to us both. Death's Hand brought your master Lee to the palace a few days ago. I saw the flyer. 
He was bound in chains, he must be powerful, but I still don't believe he is Sun Li, the glorious strategist. I was too young to know him. I was told that he and Prince Kin, the third brother, fell defending the Empire 20 years ago. Now it seems they may have been traitors. I discovered this looking through records for information on Death's Hand. Perhaps he tried to influence Sun Li and Sun Kin before corrupting my father. But it doesn't matter who your master is. I could take you to the palace, take but Death's forward. Hand controls what my father take both things. He must be discredited for you to succeed. I just got up, woke up from a nap, so I just, uh, I'm streaming, so I just, uh, um, exercised my lungs, and, uh, now I'm doing this, so I'm all pumped up. You going to the store? Hey, sure. I have one like that, too, I think, or I used to. Did I actually give you that one? That's a, that's awesome. How's work? You all right? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm kind of like I'm sore like I don't think I'm as sore but my whole body's more sore. Still be a little sore. Yeah. 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 Peace, love. Make good choices. No, I'll be alright. Death's hand has almost total control over my father. We must find conclusive evidence of his crimes and reveal his corruption. And I know how. Construction on the wall has stopped for the first time in generations. The workers now toil in factories building powerful creatures of stone and clay called golems. Death's hand could use these automatons to seize the Empire and my father is oblivious. We must infiltrate the Lotus Assassins and find evidence of this treachery. The wall was started by the first emperor, Sagacious Qian, as protection against the horse lords. The empire has long since grown past its boundaries. It is now more a spiritual monument instead of a physical barrier. Every emperor has added to it. It is a legacy that has lasted millennia. Prisoners of the Empire, hard labor reforms them, and contributing to a legacy gives them purpose. Many respected citizens once worked on the wall. We need proof of Death's Hand's intent from the seat of his power, the Lotus Assassin Fortress. It would be impossible to assault, so just walk in. They are recruiting. Have any Lotus Assassins who saw your face live to report back? I doubt it. They will not recognize you as the person who fought them in Tian's Landing. They have a vague description full of guesswork that has guards holding people at random. Besides, they expect an attack, not someone trying to catch their eye. I would wager that you may profit from their tasks too. Can you see the beauty in using their own methods of recruitment to fight them? I think they deserve it. There are guilds within the Lotus Assassins. Executioners look for fearsome warriors. Inquisitors are more subversive, and they look for cunning in their agents. If you prove yourself in the arena, they will notice you. My people can spread rumors of your interest. The Executioner will take a real interest when you finish the Silver Round. Or if you prefer, the Inquisitor Recruiter is also seeking new people. He might be open to persuasion. Death's Hand rules over the Lotus Assassins. 
so I take special interest in their activities. I've had most of my life to ask questions. You suspect my motives? You have no reason to doubt me. If I wanted the Lotus Assassins to find you, I could simply tell them your name. Ask Scholar Dongao in the Scholar's Garden about him. Dongao is closer to the Assassins than he should be. He will tell you where to meet the Inquisitor. Or seek the Executioner. My people will spread rumors of your interest, and he will approach you in the arena. They like fighters who have passed the Silver Round. I will wait at your flyer. Or I could travel with you. Before you get too lost, perhaps we should, uh, discuss how closely we will be working together? A wise preference. No offense intended to your amusing companions. Nice. Well, look who we have here. There's no princess to save you this time. Do you think we'd forget? You can't humiliate us and just walk away. Don't look at me. I can't do anything right now. Not like this. We'll teach you to insult a thousand cuts. Hello again. Meet the execu- I- Welcome, friend. The lecture won't be starting for a little while, though you're in th I wouldn't worry about seating. Those interfering philosophers had made sure that- What? Quite, quite a question. I'm not sure who told you, but I'd appreciate it if you would keep your voice. Nobody here suspects me to be anything but an overzealous scholar, and I'd like to keep it that way. You have a flying machine, do you not? Yes, I know about that. Go back to... He already knows, I'm sure. Your course is set. The Inquisitor will be waiting at your camp. Appease him, and you'll be on the road to appeasing me. Because reasons. I woke at the year one na pa year uk for tea. Akir, son we ni fayit wo a weir waka weir usono ni fayiter ofino. Ike ki. Uk nik kupkitro sa ir rustap kithno uk yo wir kwadner sunur no ku wu ifu wir so wir tatasi nis u sa ir sa wi api ir ninu si sa ir ti u wo wo wir shaksi ir ka wir onk nisi so ir aku wu uk sunti wo wo wir shaksi sunur no ku wu ifu wir so wir tatasi nisi so ir ka wi ka Kranz ni wo no yer wa yer uk sakwanerko uk nik ni si so ir aku wo. Hmm, it's cool. I didn't realize. Ha 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 ha. Ike kier kier pir ini tino weir non ni apa taro wo kawar nif.
As amusing as your savage dances are, once again I have proven the superiority of setting your nose to the grindstone and not mucking about. Now bring some refreshments in a proper mug, or I'll take back the coins of my home and country. Don't you heathens know the worth of a proper king's halfpenny? Oh my god, it's uh, actually him. Visitor, if our customs are so displeasing to you, perhaps you should find lodging elsewhere? Please? And leave you lot to your primitive ways? Tell them what I think of that, Squire Percival. Sir Roderick Ponce von Fontelbottom, the magnificent bastard, will do no such thing. He means to educate you all. Good lad. Found him wading in the mud, planting weeds. You can't keep your crackers crisp doing that. God help you if you don't know the horror of a soggy biscuit. I've given him dignity, and unless one of you has the will to deny that I'm your better, I suggest you start learning. We'll have you in proper trousers by the morrow. Oh, what's that? Someone stepping to the fore? Let's have a look at you. Ah, you look quick with your fists, but I'll wager your head falls behind. Too much time slapping each other, and not enough time strapped to a desk in a decent classroom. The simple truth is that I have bested every one of you who has come forward, whether in tests of wit or combat. You faced a champion of king and country. Now, I didn't ask to land here, but if a storm is going to cast my ship into the very heart of such a dark empire, I'll bring the light of knowledge wherever I can. You must hunger for guidance. You're like children. I mean, only a handful of you could even grow a decent moustache. What kind of place is this? You have nothing to prove because you have nothing at all. Where are your towering halls of business? Where are the great open mines that fuel a healthy land? And what, pray tell with honesty, do you think you are doing with that great bloody palace floating in the sky? That's just wrong in any right-thinking country. Can you now? Shall we put that to a test? I welcome the chance that you might impress me with a glimmer of intelligent insight. But I will acknowledge that I am likely to disagree just because I know you are... Uh, lacking. We will need educated men to judge the merits of our arguments. I've gone to great pains to learn your barbaric tongue, only to find that none of you has much to say. Can you convince me otherwise? I've heard a distinct lack of couplets and quatrains to say nothing of pentameters. Is it any wonder you people live as you do? I charge you with defending the heart of your people. If a group of judges determines that you have adequately done so, I will declare you the winner. Uh, whoever you wish. These five, standing here. I'm sure there will be a balance of opinion. The test must be fair. Go on, talk to them all to prove I haven't coerced them. We'll begin the debate when you're ready. Then we'll see how you fare in combat. Doubt your... I heard you accept the Outlander's chat. I would be honored to sit in judgment of the debate. To do otherwise would only help the Outlander win in the long run. If he wants a true debate, we will allow it to progress fairly. Of course, I doubt his arguments will have the weight that he expects. Not he I am merely quick to see my own faults, but I, like my fellow scholars, am adept at exploiting the weak. Scholars Heng and Zhao are easily swayed with simple facts. Cite such details and they are certain to change their opinion either for or against. The best course is to appeal to the individual preferences. 
It is not so much the subject, but the tactic that triggers reaction. Each judge will respond only. If a judge likes fact, use it once and he will join your side. Use it again and he will switch back just to further debate. Other arguments may not interest him at all. The planting season was almost over, so I've... Oh, this is exciting. I've never been asked to jury a debate before, and now I'm the third of your five judges. My name Hello, is... Hello, viewer. Scholar Zhao. All right. I haven't given it much thought. I pictured myself as balanced. Actually, you can sway scholars Kai and Gu by mocking your opponent. I don't care for it, but they seem to respond quite vigorously. He is coarser than the thinkers I am used to, but on the whole, I am not as upset by him as others appear to be. He seems bent on disruptive behavior. He should be encouraged to take that elsewhere. Good luck. Greetings to you. I am Scholar Hang, and I will be serving as the second of five judges for the debate. I look forward to honorable discourse. Hmm. I'm sure the others agree that my tastes are balanced. The minister, however, is easily engaged by sympathetic pleas, as are scholars Zhao and Gu. I find their appreciation of such fawning to be distasteful, but that is one of the arguments they prefer. Try to choose your arguments in a sequence that eventually turns everyone in your favor. Don't worry about losing a vote on a single topic. I don't dislike him. I find some of his points to be worth discussing, but Sir Roderick is a bit disruptive for the garden. A bit disruptive for the he garden. He may bring attention that we do not want. It would be best to peacefully encourage him to be on his way. Good luck. All right. Well, ready to set the ponies in motion, are we? Let's declare some rules and get to it. You don't mind if I make this interesting, do you? <sighs> I just want to make sure that this is more entertaining than simply blathering about whose walls are higher or whose philosophers really know what's what. It will be a simple matter. Five judges, six topics. I'll pose my argument about why your foolish land stumbles like a child, and you try to answer. The judges will raise their arms to indicate whom they favor. Arms up for you, arms down for me. After six topics, if you have a majority, you are the winner. By the Queen's corset, if you get them all on your side at any time, I'll declare the match over. Now, shall we proceed? I will pull no punches, and I expect no mercy on your part. Let's see which of us is truly superior. John well, Cleese. what shall be my first point of contention? I know the most basic of concerns for a culture. The or the most amazing economy. John Cleese. What manner of society use the silver coin as the basis of trade? Gold is clearly superior, which you admit by using it for important statuary. Your understanding of what determines value is flawed. Your rebuttal? majority on your side, but the debate is not over yet. I call attention to the arrogance of your empire. You simply assume that all lands outside your borders are the domain of barbarians and monsters. 
How can you truly know they are uncivilized until you've proven it by conquest? Crush them beneath your heel. You sit here thinking while far-off lands yearn for direction, not unlike what I am attempting with you. Well, a majority on your side, but the debate is not over yet. Shall I draw attention to your foolish reliance on personal combat? You've got strange dragon powder arms, but you waste them on spectacle and flying chariots. Any decently civilized people would have developed a proper array of personal sidearms by now, like old Mirabel here. Well, you are clearly in the minority, but I can spare no quarter. To the next topic. I challenge your foolish beliefs and the irrational behaviors they produce. Dragons, spirits, and even talk of unresting dead. <laughs> Just look at the collective foolishness that you call a floating palace. The constant superstitious yammering of your peasants even has me seeing it. And how the bloody hell would you get a moat up there? It's ridiculous, I say. Ha! Huh? All agree with me? Your downfall is assured. On to the next topic. I say that you don't seem to understand the relationship between the ruling class and the peasantry. Your commoners are far too happy to be productive. A proper spiral of misery shows that they are doing a decent day's work. Your peasants only suffer because of foolish superstitions about the dead walking around. Well, you are clearly in the minority, but I can spare... This will be the final topic. If you don't have a majority at the end of this round, you will have to admit that I have outdone... A simple criticism. Your ridiculous clothes. Not a decent... And why do you remain so clean when any sane man knows the only way to keep devils of the dark at bay is to be brash and to carry the air of the earth? Bathing is bad for the humors as well. Do you people know nothing of... Well, it would seem that a majority of your fellows have decided your arguments were more persuasive. I expected no less. I could not expect a fair contest in the heart of your city. I was a... F I Excuse me.
Majority on. Shall I draw attention to your f What? My monocle must be fogged. I can't see anyone in my favor. It appears they've reached a cons. Hmm. Clearly, these people are incapable of. Then perhaps it was my mistake to think you would be open to anything other than your own backwards idea. I seek satisfaction. You have bested me in debates, but. The entry hall here has walls to be up against. Court. Return to me when you are ready. What? I envy you. You are about to experience for the first. There will be. I need healing. Possible? A towel. Shall I draw a t What? It a Oh my god, how are you supposed to beat that? Your oh, I know how. Okay. Possible? Uh, uh, towel. Serious? Your concept of I'm not really sure really sure how to do this. Okay.
rough. Trying to fight Sir Roderick. Spirit thief. On it. I need healing. How do you fight Sir Roderick? Your concept of honor is outdated too. Finish a dog when he's down. Possible? Uh, a towel. I gotta figure out how to fight this guy. I'm pretty sure this is John Cleese. Finish a dog when he's oh, yeah. down. Pretty sure this it's is British and polite. It probably is. He's rude as fuck. Possible? Uh, uh, towel. Oh, it's a really good John Cleese impression. I didn't let her out. Guys, ridiculous. You're Getting killed over and over. Uh, by John Cleese.
That was a, a fine display of skill. It was a fair fight, Sir Roderick. Uh, w within the rules you specified. Yes, old boy, you've got it right. I was really sat down, I believe. Like the fall of the old bridge across the Grand. My humours are in disarray, I tell you. I suppose I should have seen it coming. Your win in the debate was a sure sign. I do. Regardless, you have beaten me. That's a point of honour I cannot deny. Well, there's no other thing for it. Intended or not, you've earned a reward from me. The unsuccessful combatant in a duel must... I wouldn't be much of an ambassador for my country if I didn't abide by its custom. A manual of regimented conditioning will serve you well. Red meat, constitutionals, and union... Right! First of all, fluff my traveling trousers. We will... Where? the gun I um um no I don't remember to be honest motherfucker man I didn't get the gun must be the mod A wolf, we are yours. Greetings and welcome to the sky. I see by as Sagacious yeah. Tian once said, more valuable than silk are new oh, friends yeah, in a foreign land. I already have if two of them anything, there, so I didn't I buy another one. To assist you. 250? Oh. As Sagacious Tian once said, I am glad. I am honored that you. Perhaps I could explain. The teachings of Sagacious Tian are very simple, but the implications are astoundingly complex. At the heart of the teachings are the concepts of harmony and also referred to as the way of the open palm and the way of the fist harmony with the world comes from understanding your place in the world and in other words accepting your place discord is the other side of the coin people who choose the path of discord seek their own advance these people will ignore the world and use whatever means necessary to raise themselves above their sagacious tien taught both harmony and discord to his students for one cannot be full Sagacious Tien was the first emperor of the Jade Empire. His teachings founded this great empire, though there was very little written about. We do know that he brought peace to the people of the empire, and since that time, his.
Hello there, traveler. Forgive me. I actually have a design for a new. A city like this always has rumors. Some people say the ghosts are angry and attacking innocent. But I think they are just rumors. I haven't seen any ghosts at all. I have been healed. The humanity of it all! If I won't... Oh, hello. You're clearly not from around the Imperial City and I need some... Well, you see, there's been a mix-up. No, an error. Oh, who am I kidding? Some bastard has changed my play! I am Incisive Chorus, the playwright. I'm sure you've heard of it. The me. end? And if not, Roman, you chapter have... three. Now, I yeah. suppose. I... Um, One of my productions well, five has been the countryside and catching people's attention. You sure? We were asked to bring it into the city and perform here. I've been in like the doing everything way. too. I'm trying to do everything. Plus the new stuff, like you get different rewards at different times sometimes too, so it's trippy. The play must go on, but not as they want it. The play has been changed, you see. One very key pe Once you change this scene, you change the very soul of the production. It's hardly my play at all if they perform it their way. I tell you truthfully that they've lost the hope. There's that too. Anyone could take offense. Now I'm doubly concerned. I will gladly offer you the going rate for a leading man, just for a walk-on part. I need you to take a role in the play and read the role the you have a most regal bearing. So I'd expect you'd have no, well, no major problems at any rate. If you talk to first degree thespian Fong up by the pagoda, tell him you're the replacement actor. He'll be desperate, so all you'll have to do is read the proper lines. Of course, all the roles are played by men, uh, or at least women with the decency to pose as men playing women. It, it's, well, it... Can get Here's a copy of the original script for your scene. Pivotal, I assure you. This copy reads properly, not like that. Hurry over to the large pagoda overlooking the Golden Way and tell Fong that you're the replacement. They will Remember, you'll have to memorize your lines. No scripts on stage, of course. Also, make sure you read from this script. Now, good. No, <laughs> you're about to.
figure out how to take it out now. Excuse me. You're in my way, and I'm trying to keep an eye out for our replacement actor. You? You're the replacement? Well, why aren't you in costume? If you're going to be playing Lady Fort, there's no time for you to run back and get yours. I'm sure we can find one to fit in the back, though most of our performers are less... broad. Did they give you a copy of the scripts when they sent you over here? Damn your guild's myopic planning. Luckily for you, I expect the worst from them and pulled a copy from the back. Here, take it. The script's recently been revised. So even if you're familiar with the old version, read it again for the changes before you head on stage. Well, a southern noble funded the location and travel for us. We couldn't afford to miss the exposure. Our writer wasn't that happy, I'm sure your Actors Guild told you that we have standard rates. We'll happily pay you the going rate for a lead, especially ruin your scene and you get nothing. Just get at least half the lines correct and the crowd will figure out what's happening. Any less than that and it becomes one of those obscure plays no one likes. Now, read that script over. Come talk to me when you've got... Have you read this? That's the spirit! Watch closely. We shall see if the informant was accurate. Imagine, condemning the Jade Empire at its heart. The fools. All of Heaven's blessings guide him. But sagacious Tien has been absent from the palace for such a time. His conquests of the Northern Kingdom... All the scattered kingdoms have seen the light of his rule, and our Emperor's advisors grow in number. The arable lands to the south, all the way to the useless jungles, which were left as nothing for the Monkey King, are fused into the mighty Jade Empire. To the east, Sagacious Tien has spread his light to the very waters themselves. And lo, to the west, he found enlightenment among the hills of the Six Holy Scrolls. But what word from the wastes of the Horse Lords? Ah, what is this? White is Lady Fourteen Flowers. We can only hope she brings word. My dearest Lady Fourteen Fl Peace in the North? Could this be? Have all the Horse Lords been subjugated so easily? Heaven smiles upon the Empire today. Your arrival here is certainly welcome, as your kingdom is one of the most recent to join the Jade Empire. We have had word that the hostilities have ceased. Tell me, most gracious lady, when was this momentous decision reached?
You phrase that most interestingly, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Why do I sense there is more to this story? But surely the might of the Jade Empire is unquestioned. And tell me, most gracious madam, when the fight... How fast? There's been nothing but the gentle drafts of... With such a... Ch ah, yes. For while things can... And the sun become... It seems to me that some part of your story remains untold. Do my questions block the truth? Tell me this, if nothing else, good lady. When the cry for peace rose up, the heavens had turned to him? These words, are they riddles? Wait, what word is this from the front? The emperor sends word of his return. The horse lords are unconquered, but our forces were undefeatable. What happened to cease the expansion of the empire, dear lady? A celestial event, most auspicious. And so, our most noble emperor saw a sign from the heavens. Our fun, my lady. What in the dragon's eye was that? I saw no ch You there, Lady Fourteen. That was pretty solid. It's too bad you couldn't... You continue to surprise me. That was a curious interpretation of your role. It lacked some of the... I believe I owe you... I'm glad you were here to fill in. The prof... I'm just the play script. I want it right now. Yeah? Yeah, I'll have a small cup. It is coffee grind. Watch closely. We shall see if the informant was accurate. Imagine. Oh! Oh! But what word from the wastes of the horse lords? Uh-huh. 
peace in the north? Could this be? Your arrival here is certainly welcome, as your kingdom is one of the most recent to join the Jade Empire. You phrase that most interestingly, Lady Fourteenth. But surely the might of the Jade Empire is unquestionable, and our will to victory unswayed. And tell me, most... Surely you mean the Far Edge, the Horse Lord camps broken behind him. There's been nothing but the gentle drafts of spring here in the Imperial City for weeks. With such a chill in the air, was this some time ago? My lady, I sense that there is more to your story than I have gleaned. Perhaps my... It seems to me that some part of your story remains untold. Do my questions block the truth? Tell me this, if the heavens had turned to him, these words, are they riddles? What in the dragon? You there, late. The crowd loved it. Fantastic performance. You managed to hit every line perfectly. You continue to surprise me. I wouldn't have thought you the aspiring actor. Our sponsor may not be happy with the version you read, but I've always preferred the old version of the play anyway. I guess incisive chorus put you up to this, because I know I gave you the new script. I believe I owe you an actress. I'm glad you were here to fill in. We would have sunk faster. Rather fun. The... Had your... You do, do you? I've been asking... Fantastic! The scholars loved it! One's already... A Perhaps as many as three... Here, I promised you this, and you should... Have it! Huh? Yes, that's it! Enjoy, and thank you so much!
pulling another disappearing act where she gets home for a grand total or gets here I should say for a grand total of uh, 10 minutes and then leaves again it's like a meeting they're having training or some bullshit somebody's been pooping in the fryer again <laughs> <laughs> selling it as deep fried Mars bars <laughs> we don't do that at McDick I have been healed. Do 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 do. Why the fuck is there no like fucking? I'm charging my attack. Why? Well, I, I need to like be able to buy like styles from people. Yeah. <laughs> and then you gotta do it faster when the music goes faster. <laughs> All right, guys. None of you sell like shit. Come on, man. You're welcome. Way out there. Thanks, buddy. Oh, good old Jade Empire. The sequel that will never come. I feel like I'm missing a quest. Why would the governor want to accuse you? Good day, sir. Are you the new investigator? I said. No, I can tell from your attire that you're not from the ministry. Oh, this is terrible. Everyone I send for disappears. There are powers at work here. That I am Prefect Jitong. It is my duty to ensure that convicted criminals in the city are sentenced appropriately. I have in my custody a suspected slave trader, Chandler Ling, but one of the high-ranking ministers is trying to get him released, and he wants me to convict The man they want to accuse, Scholar Sun Tao, is a friend of mine, and I'm certain of his innocence. I need you to find proof so I can present it to the Minister of Justice. <sighs> Really? You will help me? Thank you! Thank you so very much. I need to find proof that Ling is the guilty one, and by so doing, if I can't prove Ling's guilt, I'll be forced to sentence Song Tao to death. But every time I ask someone to discover... Our best lead is Zibao, the last person known to have spoken with Ling before his arrest. But Bao knows me and... I've known Scholar Song Tao for several years. His uncle and my father were good friends. I only wish I knew why the governor wants him accused of this crime. 
If you want to know more about Song Tao, you should speak with him yourself. Chandler Ling is a well-respected businessman and merchant here in the city. Until recently, I had no reason to suspect him of any wrongdoing. When I investigated Ling's shop, I found a valuable knife that I had purposely entrusted to one of my men. Chandler Ling had a knife belonging to a man whose body couldn't be found. I have no idea. The two men were seen together before we arrested Ling, but I have no other information. He spends most of his time in the heart of the Empire Tavern, and he doesn't... I know if I went to speak with him, I would get nowhere. I wish there was something concrete I could tell you. They're like a... Whoever is behind... Good. Do we have time to deal with this? I didn't agree... So, you think you can free me? Prefect Jitong has sent many good men to their deaths trying to free me. I hope you won't get into similar trouble. Well, that's what Jitong fears. I have no reason to doubt him. Besides, why else would the men not return and their belongings suddenly appear on the market? Pure coincidence. It's not proof. It's purely circumstantial. Anyone will tell you that. At any rate, it seems likely that's what has happened to the men. I feel terrible for them, but I have my own... I am a scholar, though still a junior scholar by most regards. I assist the philosophers and scholars with their work. It's a good life, though I can't help feeling... guilty sometimes. The scholars and philosophers have many privileges, while so many live with so little. I spend my spare time in the poor quarters, helping where I can. If I have any extra money, I use it to help the people there. It's not much, but I like to think it helps. I don't know. I was just down in the poor quarters, helping a family with some repairs on their hut. I was leaving their house when the guards came for me. They told me I was suspected of abducting people from the poor quarters. I told them it was ridiculous, that I only wanted to help the poor, but they didn't. I admit I spend time in the poor quarters, but I don't try to hide it. I'm there several times a week, in fact, usually in plain sight of everyone. You know, Tyler, there's a kung fu tabletop game, like a mar martial arts one. That would be fun. Because you'd have, like, the styles and stuff, and, like, the... F like, the way, like, Asian adventures work, they're so, like, fun and, like, just, like, s circumstance. I'll, I'm gonna, next time I go to a comic shop, I'm gonna look. Use some of their old books. Um, I know Jesse would know. Well, nothing really. I'd never heard of him before this. I heard what Ji Tong said about him, but that's about it. He seems decent enough, I suppose. She, would she play Pathfinder? But Pathfinder is Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. It's a bit. Um, Pathfinder. Pathfinder is just. Pretty much 3.5. It's just like oh, a. Yeah, no, you use the board just the same. It's all the same. You can use the board. No, 3.5 is 3.5. Pathfinder is basically 3.75. So what happened was. They made 4th edition. No, they made. No, they made 4th edition. 3.5, you can use a board. Use a board as well. I think advanced D and D, you didn't have to use a board, but people do. Anyways, um, the people who made the magazines Dragon and Dungeon. Now, what happened is that Wizard of the Coast bought them out, so they decided to make their own game, based kind of on 3.5, but their own interpretation of it. And the people call it 3.75 because it's more keen to, th yeah, I'll play it, but. Nothing. 
I've heard rumors in the past few months. The residents in the poor areas Fourth edition worried, is wow. Though I never knew anyone who disappeared. Yeah, it's it's probably the, the easiest one to get into if I I haven't played the originals, but I never met him. She was devastated, of course, and she blamed the slavers. But it was all just speculation. No one had ever seen anyone being abducted. There wasn't even evidence of struggles or violence. <sighs> like a plan a planned adventure with I would run, you know how I said I wouldn't play D&D? I would run a short adventure. I just don't want to run like a D&D. Oh, you know I didn't. Well, no, I, well, I got rid of my tiles, but I have, uh, my board, my, some, I have my minis, and I also have, uh, the wipe away board. I don't know I can play why Star you're wasting your time. I'm obviously innocent, and yet you still want to risk yourself need- I'm no fool. Those men haven't returned, and I can assure you it isn't because they've decided to take a holiday. Chasing after criminals is- Why would you risk yourself when even the local minister seems content- What's to tell? I'm a merchant and quite a good one. My clients, you likely haven't heard of me simply because I have a very elite clientele. Other than my occupation, I suspect we are very much the same, you and I. In a given day, I meet with several buyers and probably twice as many sellers. My job is to determine whether something... Suffice to say... No more than you've heard... Sky, I see you skulking around like a ghost. Where have you been? I've been out spying on the Lotus Assassins. We're trying to draw their attention, and I wanted to see if it was working. I'm happy to report our base has snagged a fish. The Inquisitors have taken notice of us. In fact, one of their representatives is on his way here now. You were spying on an Inquisitor, and he didn't notice you? Impossible. What's really going on, Sky? Where were you? The Inquisitors are masters of espionage and intrigue, Sky. They would have seen you tailing them. They would have seen you and killed you. You underestimate me. I can be quite invisible when necessary. I followed the Inquisitor for some time without him being aware of my presence. Then I slipped away and rushed on ahead to warn you he was coming. I didn't want him to catch us in the middle of anything incriminating. Ukir Weir, no fantayana uko. Ok, sasa sara na fuk no. Ni uk ni akwani rapani. Irkana, unnikasuri irkwana no kasai. 
Sata Tawa Ia Wanawa Fur Puno Sup Wawo Sun Punono Yapa Pap Nasia Uirosa Usair Coconato Tanatia Katanano Shafato Yu Coconato Si Anamiko Niato Nalapa de Irovia Kuni Ugnawa de Ia Isana Yuyo Kunir Fug no son could none of one and Napier. Sata Tao ear would now a fool could no so could near our for what would no will na no ba ear so. Isana Yuyo who knew your wolf of so was a whooshin. Give us a ear so. Ipana nuko iwa ear, Nikasanar ear, Yuru ni nuasa ear cana. Wuno will na no ba ear su. Isana yuyo, kunir fu. Ikir nik tine piru, wu ifirek, usair kokanato. Tanatia, katanano, shafato yu. You know, far be it from me to presume, but I have an idea of how we might be able to solve this problem. My glorious wife's third cousin is a minor official in the Ministry of Harmony. I know a little something of the way Judge Fang conducts his business. All of Fang's ministers bring him an honor gift when they go to see him, an offering given as a sign of respect, a, a, a bribe, some might call it. <laughs> if we replace Sheng's honor gift with something insulting, uh, rare turtle eggs, for example, Fang would be so outraged he refused to even listen to Sheng's report. I admit there are still some details yet to be worked out, but the quarry is easy. You have turtle eggs? Well, I, I was saving them for my coming anniversary. You buy early if you want them to be... There are more daunting problems to consider. For example, how will you sneak past Sheng's guards to make the switch? We should just kill Sheng. Nice and simple. Kill his guards, too. Oh, yes. And while we're at it, we could kill Fang and his guards, too. Unleash rivers of blood in the streets, all in the service of the Lotus Assassin. Now that is how you inter... I am no coward, but there is already more blood on my hands than I can ever wash clean. I have no plan for you. No easy answer. But working with... We really don't have any choice, Sue. It's the only way we'll ever rescue Master Lee. I don't like the idea of causing trouble for Shang. Maybe we should investigate Fang in the arena first. We might be able to stop him from getting that report without hurting Shang. Or anyone else. Maybe you're right, Dawnstar. I just hope that in the end we don't sacrifice everything for the sake of one man. It's up to you how to handle this. Remember that the Inquisitors aren't just the legs dangling out and everything. Not doing my leg, you know, swan form. Like yes, what do you need? She worries about the poor minister, a man she would despise in any other circumstance. I don't want to seem ungrateful for her help, but having Silk Fox here is causing me some... I mean, she is the daughter of the Emperor, and we do not know his role in Master Li's cap... So you don't trust her fully, but you invite her into our midst. I'm not sure I understand. I am not. Why would you say that? Are, are, are you trying to pit us against oh, lovely. It? your affection? I'm just so bad. Did I just... So basically a grammar... Yeah. I'm so, like, I'm good at the spelling, but I can't... I'm good at commas. You've always been a good friend to me, but, but when it know, comes to no, I should have more control over this. This is too not well, right. Yeah, I was like, yep, yeah, no, I'm good. But anyway, you good at like writing shit I need you to help with my writing Okay. Maybe start writing that like, but me. Well, I need to write it out like this. Like, Don't judge all the words. I am not amused by. Like, you do it, right? I prefer to have more control over myself. Silk Fox, whatever she wants to be called. You and I, we 
we talk and share thoughts, but she forces me to consider where that might lead, both good and bad. No, okay. <laughs> hey, Taylor, check out her squats. <laughs> Those aren't squats. Those are flirts. Flirts. I think we will have a great... Until then, thank you. I trust uh, your plan. Your it is a foolish idea. Okay. You do not. Do you do like... It does not take much to make a person forget who they <laughs> are. With a little effort, they can be cloaked in service and honor. Even the. A naive assumption. Perhaps you can avoid direct participation, but. He was made our leader during the raising of Dirge. He replaced Sun Kin, who along with the glorious strategist, never it. I did not serve Death's Hand long, but when the orders came, he never questioned. The connection is more direct than loyalty. That is how so many were driven to kill without cause. I don't seek justification. There is more to that event than I have said, but I have kept silent for so long that I must carefully cons- I must inevitably deal with my demons. Your destiny demands it, but I must- For many years, I did nothing. If I had known Master Lee was the glorious str- In the end, I will have to trust that you are enough his student. So you claim. I am not accustomed to work- Always have. I haven't been to the Imperial City in a while. I traveled here. I've come full circle. And I think it. <laughs> There's no point in living in the past either. Fine. In my heart, yeah, cool. I know my daughter rests as easily as any spirit okay. now. If I could go back, I don't know if I would. I'm a different man now. Besides seeing, I'm excited to be. You brought us to this point after all. How do you manage? And there you have it. Regardless, let. I can't sell upgrades if I can't find supplies. What? I. I oh, need some. Sure. I will pay you good silver, and I. What? Make it better? This is the finest ship of it. I have been working on flyers since they first started appearing. Okay, I would make fun of Rob for the fact that he didn't wear that. You only weigh like 90 pounds. Yeah. I have some supplies in the north provinces that I need Very to pick precious. up. If you yeah, can bring me those supplies. Yeah, that that Very good. Here's your name. Oh, It'll show you where to go. I'll also oh, stare mastery. Not really. Oh, do I have a good chance? There's a when I was going to the gym at the university in Lethbridge, they had this stare master machine where just the pillows that go up and down, like chain or whatever. Okay, another impact and we start losing pieces. Abandon the fight. Whoa, 
that was close. Oh, we need to end this. <laughs> That's it. We have to get out of the fight. You're scuffing the finish. What the fuck? Hey, Maggie, you help? What? Right. Right. Go away. Like right on your arm. Pretty much. You're busy. You're busy. You have re not bad. You brought back the supplies and you there were some great flyer parts among yeah. us. Not Dark Souls. Oh, you are playing Dark Souls. Pleasant surprise to see you here. Well, yeah. oh, boy, that is the Imperial City. Well, everywhere but here. Woe is to minister to minister shame. At least there's no drunken sailor. Remember that the Ministry of Harmony controls executions and taxes. Minister Sheng has not forgotten how you helped him with. However, I'm afraid I don't have time to speak with you. I have to prepare my. Oh, there's the V, and then the ones that are right there. Yes, a valuable offering for the mighty Judge Fang. 
But with this gift, I so much appreciate the depth of my admiration and respect. <laughs> so much so. Understandably, with so much riding on this gift, hey, I you push up to you back. in the care of these yeah. imperial. Yeah. The Ministry of Harmony offers pitiful wages, and I do not put I have an order, and you're ruining it. Oh, Mr. Sheng is grateful for your offer, and you proved your loyalty to Minister Sh The rest of you guards! Minister! You dare to question me? I know your mind. You are plotting against Sheng. You plan to steal my treasure. Get out! Get out of here at once! <laughs> <laughs> Minister Shane will now go for some much needed rest. I'll return in the morning. You're about to start a wrestling match. <laughs> Close watch on this gift until my meeting with Judge yeah. Fang tomorrow. Or... You're tired. But it's time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess since I already have a physical advantage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Minister Shane yeah, almost overslept. Judge Fang will be here any minute. Yeah. Get here, out of the way! I, I want Fang to see me standing beside the honor gift when he enters. Yeah, but it's a fucking look like it. <laughs> well, that's because my natural advantage is much bigger than yours. I'll be doing more than one minute. I'm eager to present my report. I'm sure you will find it most interesting. <laughs> What's that you have here for me? <laughs> no tickling! You have a keen and observant eye, mighty fang! Okay. I have brought you a small token of my esteem Three. for you. Oh, you're ripping my shirt. Yeah. Okay, Turtle's eggs? What is the meaning of this, Shang? Do you dare mock me with this... this... insult? No! There must be some mistake! No! I understand all too well, Shang. These eggs are your way of getting back at me for assigning you to Tien's Landing. But I will have the last laugh, Shang. I banish you to Tien's Landing. Wait there until I summon you back to the Imperial City. It shouldn't take more than a decade or two. Oh, wait, wait, Judge Fang! Please come back! I, I, no! You disgraced Minister Sheng. I am doomed to remain trapped at my wretched post in Tian's Landing forever! No! Minister Shing will not accept this! Judge Fang has not heard my report yet! I will not return to Tian's Landing without giving my report! I refuse to abandon the glories of the Imperial City! I simply won't leave! You can't make me! Nobody can! Minister Sheng will not be moved! So next gen, Tyler, next gen graphics right here. JK, two gen back graphics, better than Fallout 4.
Is it blue in there too? This is the ministry. Oh my good friend! What a pleasure! Gross. I guess. It'd, really well, it'd be super <laughs> gross if it was Tuesday. What? Not to mention, I've spent. The Lotus Assassins? I should have known. Judge Fa. And it is typical of the misfortune that haunts Minister Shane that. Unless. Wait. Minister Shane has a problem. The real problem here is Judge Fair, not me. If he were removed, then Minister Sh. Minister Shang is not suggesting anything. In fact, Minister Shang wants no part of this at all. I had quite enough of the Lotus Assassins back in TN's. However, I will point out that if Judge Fang is forced to resign or if he came to an untimely end, then my report would say how this could be accomplished. But at least Minister Shang would be spared the wrath and fury. Maybe the old gas pedal work? Great and noble friend. Minister Shang weep. Judge Fang is probably over in the arena watching the fights. Not that Minister Shang said. I hope you're not suspicious. Oh, heavens no. And a triumph. This outlander cannot ignore how complete your victory was. It has been a great. Your actions must have brought too much sense to the world. The contest is over and you... You have secured a great victory for the Empire. The Outlander has... You have... Perhaps I could... Ex
Pat. I'm not even aware of what's going on. <laughs> just like, leave me alone. You So you momentum. Many businessmen have been attacked and forced to flee. Nobody is. What is with all these stories about ghosts these days? As go Will ability finally consume the empire. His own master died at his hand. And he had fellow students kidnapped and tortured just because they didn't agree with him. The arena. Dio. Oh. Kicked on the stairs. That's why my men brought you to me. I won. But I don't even try to make this better. You should have won that fight, Zhang. Did the glint of Joe? Uh... <laughs> you needed something for to witness it, one? Yes, I need to speak with you in pro. That HD. I'm finished here. If you're here to fight, do what they tell you. You couldn't see for your guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. He's always up. Hmm. My roommates are killing each other. No, no biggie. With love. Killing each other with love, of course, but. Alrighty. See ya.
Uh, oh, I might have those tools. What am I even talking about? I could do this, this is gonna be sweet. Wicka 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 spave a flave out in the background it's a good time no it's good all good My love. Bam, 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 bam. Where did you go? My love. Where did you go? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay, okay. Found what I need.
Oh, yeah. Tyler, check it out. I figured out how to mod, how to like modify the texture colors and stuff. Yeah, man. Because I found a mod that has all the Jade Empire mod tools in Blender V1. So I just figured out. I'm doing a modding tutorial on this game right now. I'm watching it. Well, it's part of episode. Adventure. What color should I use? The light side guy. White to black. Maybe white shirt, black pants.
color should I'm changing the outfit though. And what color should I make there? I'm thinking blue would be the color. That's like what he. Yeah, this is what he normally looks like. That's his pants. Now I was thinking this. Well, I assume these would be blue. Is it one of the coats? Might make this silver ish. I want to make this a better guard. Might make this blue. I could dig yellow. Yeah. Cool. No, he, I asked him. He was okay. But he's just ugly. To be fair, a lot of people annoy us, too.
Ademadu. Come here for a sec. Well, I have to do, find another texture, but... So I gotta... Yeah. So I'm gonna change that to yellow, I guess. Did I do anything here? Maybe make them lighter? It's kind of like this. I made these. I made these silver. Yeah, I made them kind of silver. I probably might be able to, like to this, eh? Yeah. Let me see what I could do. Hold up. I found my face.
Oh, look at this. Oh, that's shitty. Okay, we'll do it on this one.